Greetings from Bill Medical Ultrasound Training Institute. Myself, Dr. A.B. Vani, Director CEO of Bill Medical Ultrasound Training Institute. Today, we will discuss an important topic and that is Nobology. Whenever you are sitting in front of your machine, you are having a lot of knobs over there. And uh, I'm sure that you are not using all knobs over there. Why you are not using the knobs? Because you actually are not well versed with physics and you are not knowing the function of a particular knob if you are not using a knob and you have paid for that knob right on the side you have paid for that knob and you are not using that knob your money is getting wasted plus two you will not get an appropriate good quality image this nobology is very 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 important for any person who is scanning this nobology class in detail is available on our server but today we will take a short demo of the nobology class now know your knobs but before knobs there is something which is called as probe marker this probe marker is there in your probe and this probe marker can be anything a depression a logo and elevation anything so see to this probe marker why because this probe marker has to be towards patient's right whenever you put a probe onto the patient this probe marker has to be towards the patient's right because you have and have to correlate your image when I say correlate, I mean screen orientation and your screen orientation will get reversed if your probe marker is not towards the patient's right. So there is, there is a direct correlation between your probe marker and the screen orientation. You have to have understand the screen orientation in detail. This is available on our server also, this screen orientation full class, which will take about 30 minutes we are just giving an intro of our server based courses over here so have a basic understanding of the screen orientation and correlate your screen orientation with the probe marker and that is possible only when you put the probe marker towards patient's right in screen orientation what you have to see you have to see whether you are in longitudinal section or in transverse section in transverse and longitudinal section there is a difference of the screen orientation now, when I say longitudinal section, this is my anterior, this is posterior, this is the right, and uh, sorry, this is uh, superior and this is inferior. But if I'm in transverse section, this of course will remain anterior, this will remain posterior, but, but the superior will get replaced by right, and this will be the left. So have a clear understanding of screen orientation, then only you can interpret an ultrasound image. Okay. So this is the screen orientation and then then choose your probe because not always the high frequency probe I mean the trans vaginal probe is superior to trans abdominal probe trans vaginal probe is having its own limitation which is in detail discussed in our gynecological ultrasound classes which is available again on our server when i say the transvaginal ultrasound i am having a high frequency but that high frequency is having a limitation of penetration so have an understanding of when you need penetration and when you need the high resolution accordingly you can switch between the transfer transverse and in transabdominal probe for example if you need a wider field you have to switch to transabdominal probe a wider field cannot be seen on trans vaginal ultrasound now the topic the knobs you are having multiple knobs in your machine more the money you will spend more the knobs you will get but at the end of the day you have to use these knobs in a you know a useful way so that the image will get the resolution of the image will get enhanced first you have to choose an appropriate preset 
here on YouTube, I cannot take a complete course. The complete course is available on our server, buildman.net. But here I am giving you an intro, a very brief of what you have to see. First, appropriate preset. There are multiple presets in your machine and there is a button a knob of uh, preset over there by which you can select your preset because your application specialist whosoever has installed the machine has made some presets for you now for example in one preset there is a gynae preset for example in gynae preset and in ops preset if you choose a uh, gynae preset for an ops patient you will search for crl for decades together it will not pop up because now the machine is knowing that I am scanning the gynae patient. The machine is a robot, is following your commands. You have given a command that uh, the machine I am about to scan a gynae patient. Why the machine will show you CRL? So that way uh, you have to choose a specific preset depending on what you are scanning. Number second, very important is the frequency. So you have to set an appropriate frequency because if you are scanning an obese patient, an obese patient, in obese patient, you need penetration. And the penetration is possible only when your, uh, you know, frequency is dropped. So you have to drop the frequency when you are scanning an obese patient. And if you are scanning a thin patient, you can increase the frequency and by increasing the frequency, your resolution is also increasing. So uh, this is the frequency button over here in this machine. It is over here in your machine. It can be on the opposite side. I mean on the left side or right side. So the first knob over here in this machine is the frequency. So set your frequency as per your requirements. Then the gain. The gain has to be how much the gain should be. It depends on the area of interest. It depends on what there is on the uh, monitor. But I will give you a clue. Gain has to be towards the uh, darker side, darker side. So the image should be more dark than uh, white. So you have to see to your image whether it is more whitish or more darkish. The image should be towards the darkish side, not towards the whitish side. Uh, so that uh, then accordingly you can set your gain. This is all, all gain over here. Then the TGC. When I say TGC, TGC is nothing but it is the gain of a specific area. For example, you want to decrease or increase the uh, gain of the uh, mid part of your monitor. For that, the slider is over here in the mid. Uh, mid sliders of this TGC will work for the mid part of the screen. And if you want to adjust the upper or the lower side of your monitor, for that, these or these TGCs are used so the point here is that tgc is nothing but a appropriate uh, but the gain of a particular area of the screen the depth very important these are very important norms what you have to uh, what we are discussing today but it does not mean that it will cover whole of the nobology class which is not possible on youtube but on our server we are having this nobology physics and nobology uh, classes about uh, 20 25 classes and that will be active for about uh, two months over there so uh, then the appropriate depth has to be taken when i say depth how much should be the depth just give a thought how much should be the depth when you scan with more depth there is a button in your machine of depth only see this is the depth knob over here this depth knob whenever the company is providing you a knob it means that you have to adjust that there is nothing which can be preset which can be fixed rather for all patients that is why the knob is given over there to adjust it now this depth depends on what depth you want to go in a patient for example i am scanning this part interior part for example, just for the sake of argument, if I have to scan this button only, do I need the depth? No. But if I have to scan the back from interior, then I need the machine to go deep in the body. It means that when I have to scan my back, 
I have to keep the depth at max. But if I am scanning this button over here, then I don't need depth. Now you will think that why not to keep depth always on the higher side so that my back as well as this button is seen on the screen. If you are thinking on those lines, you are rightly thinking. But the point over here is that when you keep more or depth, the frame rate is getting dropped. Now see, this, this is the beauty of knowing the knobs. This is the beauty of correlating your ultrasound physics with these knobs. Then only you can make use of these knobs over there. So I was saying that uh, when you use a high depth, more of depth will decrease the frame rate. And by decrease in the frame, frame rate, your resolution will increase or decrease. It will decrease. So my point is that the frame rate should be always on the higher side then only the resolution will improve is this depth important i will not say important very very important so if you are your area of interest is in the near field is in the near field now see if your area of interest is over here in the near field then what is the use of this area to scan with if I will decrease the depth, I will see this only and this will get eliminated from the screen and my frequency, uh, my frame rate rather, not frequency, my frame rate will increase. So the gist over here is that by decreasing the depth, you can note it, by decreasing the depth, the frame rate is increasing and the increased frame rate will improve the resolution that is why there is a box provided over here and this box is always seeing you but you are not paying attention to this box over here i will see how much frequency i am using how much frame rate is over there and i will make each and every attempt to increase that frame rate because i ultimately needs a high resolution which is possible with high frame rate and high frame rate is possible with decrease of depth now there is something which is called as focal points or zones in each and every machine there is a focal zone now see the display the monitor will show you this air arrow or arrow head anything but what this actually is this focal zone is over here means that I am dictating machine. I am dictating machine. Machine see more carefully here, not here and not there. It means that if my area of interest in center, I can move this by a particular knob. You have to see for that knob over there. I will show you what that knob is. So the point here is that I am dictating machine. Machine see carefully over here in the center, not on the interior not in the posterior part number one number two there is one more knob where i can increase the number of these focal zones the point here is that if i increase the number of the focal zones what will happen to frame rate of the machine will it increase or decrease it will decrease so the point here is that i have to keep these focal zones as minimum as possible so the model of the story is that by having more number of focal zones your frame rate will drop so scan with a lesser number of focal zones next the very important is that you have to keep an eye on the frame rate because your frame rate will decide how much the resolution how much the clarity of the images but the point to understand over here is that there is no knob in your machine by which you can increase directly i mean by which you can increase the frame rate but your depth your focal zones will increase the uh, frame rate so the point here is that you have to keep an eye on this box over here which is always reflecting on your screen and you have to take an attempt to increase the frame rate because when you are increasing the frame rate the resolution is increasing uh, zoom zoom is the last option don't start with zoom end with zoom because zoom is enlarging the image magnifying the image but your pixels are dropping 
and when your pixels are dropping there is you know not a clear image so don't start with zoom zoom is the last option before zoom you have to do each and everything to increase the resolution and then you can end with zoom so the point is don't start with zoom you had you can end with zoom doppler when you are using you, you know you are scanning in a grayscale and you are pressing a color box i mean the doppler you will see to your frame rate your frame rate will dramatically drop by putting a color box we are not going to discuss this color doppler settings uh, class over here because this will take you know many hours again on our website we are having uh, the courses available for color doppler settings but the very important and basic point is don't put a big color box if you put a big color box your frame rate will dramatically drop keep your small keep your uh, color box as small as possible and don't keep your uh, this uh, color box in a horizontal but keep it in the vertical manner and that way you will be having more frame rate than a bigger and a horizontal uh, color box so now see so the point is color box should be as small as possible then power doppler power doppler is for slow flow when you are having a slow flow in the area you can switch from color to power doppler again repeating this is a very very long topic very very long uh, class uh, of nobology and uh, we are having a dedicated uh, course of this nobology on our website uh, so uh, i appreciate your uh, time uh, and attention uh, what i suggest you uh, to comment in the comment box uh, for the next coming um, uh, class video and next class video will be uploaded very soon and for uh, detailed server based courses you can visit our website www.bilmed.net or you can contact our helpline uh, for more details of our server based course server based course are not actually online when i say online online means that you have to be online at a particular point of time the concept of the server based course is that you can access these classes at any point of time uh, be it morning evening midnight any time and you can revise uh, and uh, your classes you can revise you can pause for detail of our server based courses you can contact our helpline number or you can visit our website thank you very much